Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of June the 18th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, you have the Six of Cups in the reverse position, followed by the Ace of Wands in the reverse position. And next we have the Two of Swords reversed, followed by the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And lastly, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse position. The Six of Cups upright, this is the Blast from the Past card. This is where um, we're reuniting with people from the past and things are going well. Um, can indicate um, getting together with friends or family members from the past and having a good time. When it's inverted like this, this can sometimes represent um, maybe a souring situation, perhaps. Some of you uh, got together on the weekend, the prior weekend, with some people from the past and perhaps things didn't go as well as you had hoped or planned. For others of you, this could have been a cancellation of a, of a get-together reunion. Others of you, this can represent maybe running into someone from your past that, um, and maybe somebody you didn't particularly care for. Sometimes we run into people from the past and we're really happy about it and other times not so much. So this can also sometimes represent when somebody, we're talking with someone and they could bring up maybe some sore spots from the past and it sort of takes us down a memory lane of things we really would rather not remember. Um, so yeah, you have something like that going on. I th usually with the general energy it's whatever you're coming off the weekend with so like I said this could have been uh, something that happened on the weekend and you're just still kind of feeling the energy of that coming right into the week of the 18th you have the ace of uh, wands in the reverse position the ace of wands upright this is a passion it represents new beginnings in passion something we're passionate about could even represent an offer that type of thing when it's inverted like this this can represent we've lost our passion now for some of you it's just a general read it could be representing lost our passion in our work for others of you it could be a loss of passion in a, a relationship um, a loss of passion in a, a hobby that you do it's that type of thing it's this is also a card representing travel when it's in the upright this can represent a travel delay like I mentioned before with the six of cups being in reverse maybe some of you had planned some type of uh, family reunion or high school reunion or so forth and the situation was either cancelled or postponed or delayed for some reason. Now it's paired up with the two of swords in the reverse position. The two of swords upright this is about a need to make a decision and when it's uh, inverted like this it can indicate a decision has been made by you. Um, this points back to the Ace of Swords in the Upright, which is a sword of clarity. Uh, generally, for me, the Two of Swords in reverse indicates we have found some type of information or some type of clarity that helped us to make up our mind and make, up, make a decision. Now, moving on to the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd, you have the energies of the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. Nine of Wands upright, this is the Wounded Warrior card where he has fought so many battles and he's standing there on, on guard ready to fight another day. When it's inverted like this, this can sometimes indicate we have no desire to fight another day. We're just kind of done. We're trying to move away and step away from conflict, which is definitely uh, good news and that'll be different for all of you why we choose to step away from conflict or no longer be involved in it. We do it for many different reasons. Sometimes we're tired, sometimes we're just done with the situation. And sometimes the, um, it's, it's like I said, it's just a general read, so it's gonna be different for all of you. But yeah, you don't really want to fight at this time. That's what this energy is telling me. And it's paired with the last card you have in the read, Major Arcana, justice in the upright position this is good 
definitely good news because for any of you dealing with the legal system, maybe that's what it is. You no longer need to uh, fight this battle if it was a legal situation because perhaps the judgment is coming down now and uh, you no longer have to fight it and present your case or what whatever the case may be. Uh, for others of you, it could be representing justice in another situation playing out in your work or even your relationship. Maybe something was out of balance at one point and now it has come back into balance because the justice card does also represent balance and, um, and fair judgments and fair justice. So that's good news at the end of the week. <laughs> all in all, it's an interesting reading here, Virgo. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if it re resonated for you. And if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.